Hey everybody, welcome back to another episode of Bravely Default. We're here inside the Wind Temple. Let's continue right where we left off. We kind of left off in the middle of the temple, but I think last episode we were nearing like 30 minutes. And I, I usually, I don't like making episodes past 30 minutes because I feel if they're around 15, they're too short for, you know, an RPG. If it's 20, it's good. If it's 25, it's perfect. 30 is good. Anything more than 30, you kind of lose... You maybe start losing track of people. Um, but at the same time, you could also think of it as really... If someone's watching your game, I guess they're not going to care about episodes. They'll just, they're going to watch the entire thing anyway, so if one video is like 40 minutes, but... Hey, whatever makes me sleep at night, but... Also, if it's longer than 30, it usually takes a very long time to render. You know. Also, um, for so I can, you know, instead of uploading one more episode every four days, I can upload four videos once a day, so it's like easier to manage. I don't know why, I do things that you do, I do them. Also, three minutes, 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 three Okay, I'm scared of that thing. I feel like I'm going to die. Equip. Is this better? Indeed it is better. Okay, we'll stick that over there. I feel like that thing is going to kill me. Um, what buttons am I pressing? Okay. Magic. Cure. Okay. Let's go talk. Oh, you lack the qualifications. You startled me for nothing. That's kind of mean. What am I underqualified for? Maybe I need to be a higher level. Maybe I need a higher job level? Maybe a higher job level. Maybe that's what I need. Okay. We made it to the checkpoint. Just awful. It's in complete chaos. Yet swallowed up in silence. And in that stillness, grief. This place is steeped in sadness. Did the women here made themselves a human shield that I might get away? And now, all of them gone. It's Narende all over again. Yet, I haven't the leisure to send them on or to mourn them. I'm not allowed even the luxury of grief. They sacrificed themselves that I might protect the crystal. I'll not betray them. I swear it. No matter what happens. Surely you can allow yourself to grieve. I pray for them. That they may know peace. But for now, I must press onward. Huzzah. The crystal altar is just beyond. Follow me. Let's go. This crystal up and running, boys. We need that wind. That town needs some wind. Mm, I don't think there's anything in there. What the heck is that shiny thing in the corner? Oh! Quick way out. You'd love to see it. Let's go ahead and check out this entirety of this place. Ooh, save guy. I like seeing those, too. They throw a dagger. Okay. Anyone use these? No, it doesn't look like it. Okay. I have to make a decision here. Do I change Tiz to a thief? No, I'm leaving him as a knight. I need to stop talking. I leave him as a knight. A knight will be fine. Just because he can't attack doesn't mean anything. He still does a lot of things. Okay. Hard at work, I see. Okay, save. Want to quick give it a save a room? Check on the town super super quickly. Let's put all the villagers in. Okay. We saved. Onward. Crystals all muddied up. It's enormous. Even hearing the stories, I'd never expect it. Forward. No! It's light 
light is dimmer still than when I left. I've watched over the crystal all my life, but this... I've never seen this. We need to release it from the darkness. Agnes, you know what to do, don't you? The Mother Vestal, my predecessor, showed me as a child. A right to cleanse the crystal of any evil to befall it. I'm to sharpen my focus to a single point and align my breathing to the thrum of the crystal's natural rhythm. Every Vestal to come before me has poured her prayers into the crystal. The time has come to draw upon that store of will and awaken it. You do your office proud. Now for the final step. The Vestal Garb. Right. Without that to serve as a conduit, you won't be able to set the crystal to resonating. The Mother Vestals was stored in the reliquary. Lead the way. Once we have that, we can begin the rite of awakening. Let's do it. We gotta get her coat. Let's go get her coat. Where's that coat at? I need the coat to serve as the conduit. Inspect. That's the garb you need? Yes, this is it. But the dark has beaten us here. It's tattered. Oh, look at it. It's in tatters. And it must have been such a beautiful piece. It may not serve its function in this state, yet no other set remains to us. What now, then? We can't perform the rite without it. Why not give it a try as is? Even without its sacred power, the frock is deliciously holy. Bruh. Stop talking, ring a bell. Hmm. If this garb is destroyed, can we make a new one? A set of holy vestments used in some miraculous ritual? Sure it is. Let me ask my tailor. No, he's right. That's it. Hmm. We Fair must enough. speak with the old sage of the Yuliana Woods. He has seen to the creation of the Vestal's garbs and other ceremonial tools for generations. There's no finer craftsman. Then we I go to him. him. Only once, as a small child together with the Mother Vestal. More than a decade has passed. I cannot say whether he is still there or even alive, but... But if he can make us a new set of vestments, why are we still standing around talking? That's what I'm saying. I've never heard of these woods. Where are they? How will we get there? I recall the forest being uncommonly dense. Also, there was a lake. If it's large enough to float a ship, I'll land us there. Now, what of the ladies of Yuliana? Are there many ladies? Ignore him. Can we be certain this lake hasn't rotted through like the oceans? That's not how I fancy ending my life. Well... What does Ringabel's journal have to say on the matter? Let's have a look. Ah, here we are. Yuliana, yes. The hidden heart of an ancient wood, northeast of Ansheim. North. Given the book's okay. owner, or, I have expected that way for you. some note about the lack of women there. Women or no, that's our next destination. Indeed, but since we're going, let's hope for ladies. Fair enough. For ring a bell. Alright, to the woods we go. Uh, good thing we opened up. Oh, wait, the shortcut's over here, right? Yes. Now we can kind of just run through very easily and nicely. Good, good, good. Okay. We've all been there. We've all been there. We've all been there. We've all been there. Ooh, maybe I need to enter through there. It's too thick. Press any deeper, and it'll crush our lungs. We'll not make it through these woods without some better plan. Fair enough. 
So, those woods are a no-go. Okay, then to the ship we go, and we make our way to the woods. Get on, yup. Let's get up into the sea. Can we... Okay, we can go over those mountains. Oh, what's with these woods? I can literally just fly over them. Okay. Oh, is that the... Okay. Let's get off. I'm guessing this is where we need to go. Also, I still haven't saved for a while. I should probably do that, but... I remember this guy. On my first playthrough years ago. I remember this guy. <laughs> Funny old man. Yes, this... This feels familiar. It's been ages, but this is it. We were here. The Mother Vestal, I, and Olivia. Was that strange, distant groaning here then, too? Or am I the only one who's thoroughly unsettled right now? You're not alone. The lack of women here is positively chilling. Though it seems someone lives here. Hello? Is anyone there? I thought I heard something. This place draws few visitors, I fear, and me fewer still. So, to whom do I owe this pleasure? I am Anya Oblige, sir. Vestal of Wind. <laughs> Little Agnes, is it? Oh, you have grown, child. You were scarce more than a little sprout when your predecessor brought you here. Now look at you. A fine woman you've become. Fine and plump and <laughs> pleasantly jiggly. <laughs> Pervert. Ugh, lovely. It's a geriatric ring -a bell Then you are indeed the sage I seek. I fear I do not remember your name, sir. <laughs> oh, we are a lot alike in that, my dear. Not many people around these parts to call me by it. Whatever it was. Sage will do just fine by me. It is what the last Vestal called me. At her heels, you. Thage, Thage, you'd call. A more charming little echo I've never heard. Well, I am glad to have found you. Feels rather good to hear a pretty young thing like you was looking for me. Seems I've not quite lost my charm. Now, you called yourself Vestal. I take it that means the last Vestal is... Yes, sir. Her tenure as Vestal ended five years ago. Her life, a year later. I see. A sad loss for all of us. She was fair but firm. Very firm. She had taut curves fit to drive a man mad. We shall be needing an in-depth account, good Sage. Also, a briefing on any wild women of the woods. Stop talking. Just stop. You've quite the following, my dear. I had thought the Vestals forswore all contact with the outside world. These are... They are assisting me in my task. Oh, assistance, eh? I see. <laughs> oh, and such colorful characters they are. I've kept you out here long enough. Come inside. I see. Well, that's quite the story. You've been brave to come this far, Agnes. 
I'd not have managed on my own. I owe Tiz a great debt. Hmm. Well, uh, perhaps it is we've come to the harrowing. The harrowing? The swelling dark is a harbinger, lad, as is the fall of the temples, the dulling crystals, the great chasm. It is the Vestal's calling to see that darkness purged. I must awaken the four crystals. Awaken them? Absolutely astonishing! Huh? What? I took the liberty of stealing a peek at the ladies' fashions you've assembled in the next room, good sir. Each is a beauty fit to outshine the next. Their allure had me spellbound. Spellbound, I tell you. <laughs> I'm impressed a man of your scant years can properly appreciate them. I would gladly talk the night away with a man of your genius. They're a matched pair. It's like old ring a bell. Ring a bell, please. We're in the middle of an important discussion. As am I, my friend. This is art, romance. You'll come to understand in a few years. And as I recall, we didn't come here to talk. We came to procure Vestal garb as quickly as possible. While you were chatting, I searched. My efforts bore unexpected fruit, that's all. <laughs> so, you've come to me because of your need for new vestments, have you? I have. The garb housed in the temple was lost to the darkness. We found it in scrap, sir. Hmm. Those garbs are woven from rainbow thread. No substitute will suffice. And is this thread something you keep on hand? I fear not, my dear. The Vestal to wear the garb must procure the thread herself. <laughs> it is tradition. Then we go and get it. The last Vestal of Wind did so, as did her predecessor and countless Vestals before. Even had I the thread used to craft the last Vestal's garb, I could not fashion it into aught of use to you. I understand. Tell me where I must go. Of course, my child. But come, the day is nearly spent. Stay the night. Oh, yes. If you girls would like, I would be happily obliged to make space in my own bed for you. Oh, unacceptable. Likewise. Then let the two of us pass the night in ardent conversation. Sounds kind of sus to me, ring a bell. Sounds kind of sus. I was like, Ring a bell, you have two girls right there, bruh. You, you want to talk morning. to this old man? Slept well, I trust. Idea, was it? How about making a nip of breakfast now for an old man, eh? What? Why should I cook for you? Because a young beauty's home-cooked meal is far more appetizing than anything I might make myself, of course. Given her upbringing, I've grave doubts the Vestal could boil water, let alone cook. That leaves you. Food can wait, Sage. Now the location of the rainbow thread, if you please. And yes, jealous are you? <laughs> oh, that's adorable. The location of the rainbow thread, if you please. Huh. You're no fun at all. Very well, then. I prepared a light meal while you were sleeping. Eat before you go. 
you'll find the rainbow thread very deep in a cave that is far west of here. I shall mark it upon your map. Thanks. Okay. Ignore me. Such sweet sorrow. How about a nip of breakfast for an old man? He cooks just fine. Quite. It was nothing especially fancy or out of learning, but it went down fine. I thought it was really good, actually. Likewise, I wonder why he would have wanted you to cook for him, Adia. All alone, out here in the woods, maybe he missed the taste of the big city. Aw, oh, when you put it that way, I feel bad for saying no. What sort of food do you like to cook, Adia? Hmm, I haven't cooked enough to have a speciality or anything, but if I had to pick something, I make a mean jam and butter omelette. Beg your pardon? Or whipped chestnut and sweet potato toast. Or have you tried marshmallow and condensed milk risotto? Er, no, but it sounds sweet. Painfully so. Yep, mother and father were left speechless by its amazing deliciousness. I'd be happy to whip up some for you next time. Right. Next time. Okay. Is there anything we can yoink out of his little... Ooh, peace ring. You'll absolutely love to see it. Also, it seems like they've got... A fox? Ooh, he's got some good stuff. Hello? Hold on, what does the trader do? Ma Wait, hold on. Magic? Oh, I need these. Yes, those would be very useful now. Trader price. Oh, so I can just buy any of these. Don't really need it. Okay, the armor is the real good stuff, though. I could buy... Ooh, I should buy a mithril shield for Tiz. Because since he's not attacking, I might as well give him a shield. And then... Nobody really needs any weapons, funny enough, because... Anyas doesn't need anything. She just punches. Tiz doesn't really need a weapon. I mean, I'll buy him... A mithril... A mithril axe. But he doesn't really need it. Okay, but this is what I am looking for here. So this would be good... I'll buy two of those. And then two of these. Mithril. Okay, two of those. And then... Two of those. And then these would actually help a little bit. Maybe I'll just buy one mithril glove and call it a day. And there goes all of our money, but... It seems like we upgraded quite a bit just now. Okay, so now we have to go through... Mithril axe. Mithril shield. Mithril helm. Mithril armor. We'll go ahead and put the mithril gloves on him just to make sure his defense is good. Um, cat-eared hood. Did the tabby suit? Or, yeah, the tabby suit. Okay. What does a star pendant do? Multiplies poison. Okay. Next person. Oh, she's... Mithril helm. Mithril armor. And that's fine. Then for ring-a-bell here, we're gonna go ahead and put the tabby suit. Cat-eared hood. We'll leave the buckler on him. Save yes. Okay. All right. Those were some pretty gigantic upgrades. I wasn't expecting a shop here, honestly. But I'm glad there is one, because that was some good upgrades. Okay, so this next part, can we... It's not this cave. It's not this one, if I'm correct. This place holds nothing for us. Yeah, okay, yeah, wrong cave. I knew it was a wrong cave. That's, that's what I expected here. Then do we go all the way around? Just to go all the way around. If I'm going to do up to two things here, sort it out. 
Yeah, so it's down. Oh, really? Nothing's actually gonna happen. Let's go ahead and get it up quick. Nothing's gonna be safe. Let's continue. What else was I gonna do? I thought of something. I think we're good, though. Okay. Entering the cave. Vestment Cave. Ugh. What a dank, wretched place. Who knows what's lurking inside? Are we certain we'll find this thread in here? I wouldn't put it past that sage to be pulling our leg. A slippery old fox, that one. Said the slippery young fox. The sage has aided Vestals in their service for at least two generations. Let us trust in him for now. Then we've no reason to stand around debating. Let's press on. Okay. Let's see what type of enemy they got up in here. Oh, that I just remember what I was going to do. I need to turn the encounter rate back up to normal here. I forgot to put it back. Okay. That's... I knew there was something in there that I needed to do. Okay. Any enemies? Uh, let's see how strong the enemies are. Let's go ahead and just default abilities. Probably thunder? Thunder? Yeah, thunder will do. Brave, attack. Okay, keyboard. And then we'll just do an arrow with him. Arrow. There we go. Weak point. Okay, so... Well, I guess these are bats, so I guess their wing point would be wind anyway, right? Okay, they're not actually that tough. Maybe we're still a little over-leveled for all of that training that we did. Because we went to that one dungeon, like, probably five or six levels higher than we should have been. So I wouldn't be surprised if we're still, at this point, still over-leveled. Okay. Moving forward. Is there a chest? Ooh. Chest. You'd love to see it. High potion. All that walking for a high potion. Disgraceful. Alright, just some more dogs. No problem. Okay, up we go. Let's go in this direction so we can get this chest. Phoenix down, okay. You know, a hundred peak for one of those. Money's money, I guess. <laughs> man, oh man. Okay. We have to go apparently deep into this cave. So. I'm guessing we've probably got a lot of running to do. Why is she missing? <laughs> Just die again, forehead. What time is it? Ooh. I need to go. Soon. Okay. Cool. Alright, guys, and I'm actually going to end the episode off right here. If you guys enjoyed, make sure you're going to comment, ask for the channel, and I'll see you guys later. God bless, and goodbye.